Hello, my name is Judy. Welcome to the Liberati Multitasker. I have a wonderful recipe for you today. It's a homemade, creamy, roasted red pepper soup. We're going to start off by adding about two tablespoons of olive oil to our saucepan. Now we're going to add about half a cup of diced onion, about three ribs of celery, and about three cloves of roasted garlic. Now the celery came from my garden for whatever reason. It had not frozen yet and so was still good to use. So we're just going to saute this for about eight minutes until the onions are clear and these veggies are nice and tender. I'm just going to stir these up. I have to say this soup has the best flavor. And it's really what I call a homestead soup. I grew the peppers, I canned the uh, chicken bone broth, and I grew the celery. Now this recipe calls for 12 ounces of jarred peppers. Here I have eight roasted red peppers that I grew from the garden. I'm adding two thirds cup of water and three and a half cups of chicken bone broth. This was two jars of my homemade chicken bone broth. And we want this to come up to a boil. I grew these red roasted peppers wanting to make roasted red pepper soup. They've been in my freezer since 2022 and I needed to use them. And I thought today was the perfect day. It's cold outside. I'm making this for lunch. It is not a hearty soup uh, because this is pretty much the ingredients in it. It happens to be low carb and keto friendly, um, but you do not have to be doing low carb or keto in order to enjoy this soup. The flavor was phenomenal. Now that the soup is beginning to boil, we'll go ahead and put our lid on and cut it down. We want to let it simmer with the lid on for about five minutes. Now that it's been simmering for about five minutes, we're going to take the lid off. Just see how nice that looks. Give it a nice stir. And next, I'm going to use my immersion blender. I'm going to blend up some of these chunks. Now the way I'm going to serve this soup is going to have chunks in it. If you do not like any chunks, then what you want to do is pour this soup into a high speed blender and blend it till there's no chunks at all. I'm just going to use this immersion blender. It's quick and easy. It does leave a few little chunks, but that does not bother me at all. Uh, if you don't want any chunks, use a high speed, high speed blender, blend it up and then put it back in your pot for the next step. Now it's about time for a taste test. I've not added any salt and pepper, and so I'm giving it a taste to see what it needs, and it definitely needs some salt and pepper. So I'm gonna add a good amount of salt and pepper. I'm gonna give it another stir, give it a second, and then it's, I'm gonna taste it again. You wanna make sure the flavor is spot on. Second taste test. And it still needs a little more salt and pepper. Now this is just about right. So now I'm gonna add our next ingredient. And this is two thirds cup of heavy whipping cream. I'm gonna stir it up. And that my friend is ready to eat. I'm gonna scoop some out in a bowl. and it is divine. I'm gonna to top it with just a little bit of sour cream 
and a little bit of Parmesan cheese. I'm just going to grate some over in my bowl. And this is the best red rusted pepper soup I've ever had. Homemade is definitely best. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I hope to see you really soon.